Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We have a serious topic that we need to discuss in today's episode. Though the modern gaming scene is fantastic, some of our favorite gaming genres may be going extinct. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking candy. It's a Belgian triple by Dominion Brewing Company. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about five gaming genres that may be disappearing forever. All right, here we go. You've heard us say it before. What an amazing time to be a gamer. We have the PS4, the Switch, the Xbox One. So many rare games and ports and indie titles are at our fingertips with the way this generation is playing out. But there's one thing that is grinding our gears. Some of our favorite genres are almost nowhere to be found. It sucks. So here we go. We're going to talk about some game genres that feel like they're almost extinct. And you know what? They need a freaking revival. So the first one we want to talk about is arcade sports games. Oh my God. We love arcade sports games. So it's so sad that these have disappeared. You remember NFL Blitz, NBA Jam, the Mario Strikers, the EA Big Game, yeah. SSX, like all the arcade styled sports games. They're so much fun. And you don't you don't even have to be a fan of sports games to enjoy them. Yeah. And, and I think you hit on all of them. The Mario Sports, the... You you know, the Midway games, all of that stuff is right in our wheelhouse. We play that stuff daily still to this day. It feels like with a lot of the, the things we're going to mention on this list, you almost have to go digging for it. Like, yeah. like the, in the way you, you kind of have to dig for good alt rock music anymore, right? Yeah. So like Mutant League Football, badass it's, freaking yeah, game. That's an awesome, <clears throat> but that's one yes. new game that we can think of. Yes. That, that's a good pull. That's yes. such a fun game. So it's one of those genres that used to be so almost oversaturated in our face when EA Big was on fire and Midway and Acclaim and all those places. And I love how their pick up and play games, anyone can come in, play one game and know the controls for the most part. I know you can get good at them, but they're good pick up and play games and you can play yeah. rounds quick and be like, all right, let's just play a quick, really quick match in NBA Jam real quick and then move on. You know, and I, I some of this stuff I kind of understand with licensing and whatnot, but the one part of this category in particular I do not understand. I don't know why we haven't seen a new Mario Strikers, a new Mario Baseball. Oh, we got to have a new snowboarding game. Come on, SSX, anything. Arcade sports fans. We're yeah, left big. Out Bring here. back the big heads. <laughs> We're left out here. We're begging you. Please, for the love of God. Give us some arcade sports games. All right, the next genre we're going to talk about is near and dear to our hearts, and we're not even that good at this no, genre of games. But it is shooters, or shmups, as some people like to call them. You know what? There's a lot of good shooters out there, but not on the mainstream, it feels like. Like, you got to get them from kind of Play Asia, like yeah, over in Japan. There's, there's a lot of Japan, there's a lot of indies, there's a lot of imports, and you can find the shooters, but where's the mainstream shooters? Where's your Gradius? Where's your R type? Come on, give us some mainstream shooters. I know they might not be the big thing in North America, that's why they're so big in like Japan and stuff, but come on, they are so fantastic. They are, and I've always looked at this genre of game as more of an art form. It's really awesome. Oh, it's Anytime we so put good. them in, one of the first things we usually say when we play a new good shooter is, oh my god, it's beautiful. And, and then, do you hear the music, And then dude? the music. Do you it, feel the mood? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's the one part about this episode that I really hope gets driven home is I'm worried that the modern gamer is missing out on these genres of games because there's no mainstream offerings. Obviously, us old dinosaurs are going to find our way and find those and we, games in the wild. And we still play the old ones, obviously, yeah. but like, come on, bring us a new one. I know they sometimes try and it doesn't live up to our expectations, but come on, keep trying. Yeah, yeah, we, we want some more mainstream, a new Gradius game, a new R-Type game. Come on. Yeah, and I've Konami. heard... I've heard our type final two might be in the works. Oh, a second final? Isn't that a play on words? Wow. <laughs> type final two. Yeah, exactly. That'd be fun. So the next category, you guys maybe um, have heard us talk about a little bit about Robert's love for this type of game before, but skating games. Oh my what the heck? God, dude. I freaking love skating games. The Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, one through four, are in. They are, and so are the skate games. It's just called Skate. One, yeah, two, skate, and three. One, two, and three. Amazing. Like, those games were so sweet because you like actually had to do like uh, the the controls on the joystick, so it yeah. felt like you were actually skateboarding. But then the Tony Hawk's games, they were badass. But then they started going down a weird path, like with Underground, yeah. and then the other ones and. 
it was still cool, but it wasn't the same. And, and then was kinda, it five that they really shit the bed on oh five? Oh my yeah. god! And then they released like a mobile game. Yeah, I remember RGT doing a video of that, and I was like, "Well, this, what the hell?" Yeah, and this style of game even kind of parlays into the BMX series. I believe it was like Dave Muir's BMX yeah, or something to so that effect. Biking games. Yeah, those were a lot of fun as well. And I, there's something about being a kid who grew up in the '90s. I've always loved skate culture. The, yes, the, where's the skate style, culture nowadays? There yeah, is no skate culture. The, the style, the clothing, the music. I've always loved that scene, and I feel like those games articulated it so well. Like I, I did soundtrack. I can skate a little bit. I can still ollie pretty well, but I'm not that great. But I, I love the culture, which made me kind of love the games because they did it so well. Man, these games were incredible. It's a ghost town. They're gone. Crickets. Skate. Skate games. Skate games. Yeah, I feel like I need to put a gravestone up. Yep. It's a sad day. It sucks. A common thread through this whole episode is going to be games that are pick up and play. What I like about them is you can become an expert at them and become really good and crafty, but also you can sit someone down next to you in that co-op mode and say, hey, here's a controller. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. And have a good time. And this next category is one you're probably already thinking we're going to talk about, but it is exactly this way. It's light gun games. Oh my God. Where... I know the Wii had them, and that might be the, the PS3, PS3, probably Xbox 360, they all had like on games, but that's probably the last. I know some people are going to be like, oh, there's VR. And the, there's a, there's the, a VR couple. is a stretch. Yeah. Like, that's not a like on game. That's They, they should have, they, they, they could expand on that yes, for sure. Yes, they could, but the traditional like on games at home are badass. We love our Nintendo Wii. We've said it so many yeah. times. They're easy to pick up and play. Yeah. The odd part is, is this is the first time since the PS1 where some of the hot uh, light gun games in the arcades, we can't get them at home. So, yeah. you know, we didn't reach that apex and tell about the Dreamcast where you could get an exact port of an arcade light gun game in your living room. Well, but, you know, ever since then, even on Saturn and PS1, there were some weaker offerings. But now there's House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn. Which is, we talked about oh that. Oh my God. Oh, dude, that game is incredible. Absolutely but incredible. And it was an older episode for us, but we'll put a link up here there's, above. They're not going to bring that to the home because there's no way to. Time Crisis 5. 5. Yes, the Time there's, Crisis series. There's a new Halo one that's really oh, good. Oh, yeah. The arcades um, still have them, but yeah. why aren't they bringing it to the home? The last category we're going to go into is a genre that really is important to us because we're fans of the sport, if you will, and the types of game, and that's wrestling games. As a wrestling fan, right now is the worst time as far as maybe even the product, but also the video games, because there's only one. There's one big dog. It's the 2K series. I know there is Fire Pro, yep. but it's Which is not, good. It's really good, but you have to be really good at the game to yeah, play. It's like complex. The, the controls are really tough. They're still sweet games, but other than that, 2K and Fire Pro, that's it. Yeah. That's it for options, and the 2K games, freaking suck. Well, and, and the, the cool part is, is when you were becoming uh, of age enough to game, 64, PS2 era, all that, that was like the prime time for wrestling video games. You had the WCW games, oh. you had the WWF games, you even had some weird like backyard wrestling games. Yes, you did. Such a And spread. then the crossover games, yeah. WCW, WCW versus NWO, yeah. like, oh my It was God. so cool bringing that experience home. You, if you wanted like a simulation game, cool, go with like uh, Attitude and uh Warzone, games like that. Or you can play these THQ games, which were like the happy marriage of arcade and realism. And, and then it, they had the arcade ones on top of that, like yeah. WrestleMania and like WrestleFest. Like, that's badass. Yeah. And, you know, it's just been, you know, from the NES time frame all, up until probably the current generation, there were great offerings for wrestling fans. And the current gen, it's like, hey, if you're not a 2K fan, which I'm not completely shitting on the games, but they're not that great. No, they aren't. And, <clears throat> you know, it makes it tough. It could be because the draw of the sport is not making fans crave the games. But I just feel like if, you know, again, that modern gamer picks up WWE 2K and is like, oh, I don't like wrestling games. That sucks that they have that generalization because they've only played one freaking yeah. style that's kind of a shitty style of wrestling Well, game. bringing up the genre of wrestling, AEW's in the picture now, so that makes me think, if AEW comes out with a wrestling game, that might bring in yes. some more competition, some more Some diversity. And be like, dude, okay, WWE needs to freaking snap it in gear and go back to being good. And I think that's what AEW's doing in the wrestling genre, yeah. bring it to the video games genre, and it'll be perfect. All right, all right, that's enough about the games for a little bit. We're gonna talk about some beer. We got the Dominion candy. You're really going head over heels into this uh, direction of beer style. So yes, this is a Belgian style triple, 
and it is so good. It reminds me a lot of a Hefeweizen because like there's so many good particles that there's like, I don't even know how to describe it, but this style of beer is slowly becoming my favorite. I know I used to love IPAs, but a good Belgian style beer is so freaking good. Absolutely. For a long time, Hefeweizens have been one of my favorite style of beers and I've kind of migrated more into triples and some of the more like obtuse things, I guess, Quads. in the Belgian, yeah, yeah, in the Belgian offerings. But the style, it's like that, that Belgian candied yeast uh, banana flavor just, that comes through. It's unbelievable. I don't even know how to describe it. It is it, a it very just, hard thing. When you find a good one, you know it's good. Yeah. It's like, holy hell. And for being 10%, this oh, man. doesn't even taste. This, this is so sweet. This is an amazing beer. This is a really good Belgian beer. Belgian beer fans, if you're in the area of this brewery, you should pick it up. They do a fantastic job. Dominion Breweries in Dover, Delaware. This is another beer that was brought to us by BK. Um, so you're hearing good. that a lot right now on the channel because we have so many good ones. But this is is fantastic Belgian beer fans you don't want to miss this one it's an A plus and also look at the look at the label don't you just want to pick it up because of that a Ooh, nice pin up Robert has a girlfriend Robert has a girlfriend all hey, right we're this still private <laughs> this uh, episode was a lot of fun it's just more of a discussion based topic because we were sitting here literally filming another episode and we got sidetracked like why are these genres disappearing? Yeah. Why are they going extinct? We don't know. They're some of our favorites. Maybe we're just, you know, in the same. So that weird. Most are. All five of the genres we talked about are our favorite genres of games. Yeah. And it kind of sucks because we still game nowadays, so it's like Ah, we're just going to play the old stuff, I guess. Yes, yep. So anyways, in the comment section below, let us know, uh, is there any genre of game that isn't getting as much love in modern terms that you wish it would? And what are some titles that you want to see get a re-release, a Ooh, reboot, yes. so on and so forth? We Gradius. always appreciate you tuning in. That's a good call. And subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. And ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you... I put it away. <laughs> God damn it. Why'd I put it away? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just have it, I guess. In the modern landscape. In today's episode, we're going to talk about five gaming genres that seem to be dissing peer. Dissing peering. Dissing peering, dude. I'm going to diss your peers. <laughs> and sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, or we're going to bow. That's right. I fucked up the beer thing, too. Ah! Belgian ah! triple. <laughs>